My homemade pasta is simple. I just use two different flours, an egg, some salt, a little bit of water, and I just do a cup of each. The flour I'm using here is a bread flour that I like to use for uh, my pizza. Just put a cup of that, a cup of the all-purpose flour. It's supposed to be a pinch of salt. And uh, drop one egg right there in the middle. And you add water as needed. I filled up here a half cup, but I shouldn't need more than about even half of that. I want to make a real thick, dense dough for this. You don't want it too soft. You don't want it too doughy, bread-like. You want it real thick and dense so you can work with it and slice up your noodles. And there you got it. It's pretty dense. You can see it stuck to the bowl there. It's uh, it's not that that uh, easy to press into it, but you get it to where it's, it's borderline, like it's going to dry out. Like if you start pressing on and uh, rolling this thing out, it's going to look like it's possibly going to crack, but it's not. You just have it right there on that fine line. And uh, what I'm going to do is separate this into two pieces and uh, spread some flour out here on the counter so it doesn't stick. And I'm going to roll this thing out uh, about as paper thin as I can get it. And we'll go from there. Okay, there we go. About one cup's worth of dough. I'm going to go ahead and roll it out. Okay, now I've got it all rolled out, but it's not as thin as I like it. The importance of having it dense is so you can stretch this thing out about as thin as a canvas, so you can really have some noodles that, when they're cooked, aren't as fat as your fingers. You want it to look like pasta. You don't want it to, to taste like breadsticks. So what I'm going to do is actually pick this up by hand, and I'm going to stretch it out, pulling it apart like I was uh, messing with pizza dough. Okay, now I've got it all stretched out the way I want it. Uh, I laid it back down. I rolled it one more time. You can see here it's good to go. I'm going to dust it here a little bit with some flour on top because I don't have a, a noodle machine to really slice this up. So I'm going to do it all from scratch. And what you do is you just start here in the end. A little trade secret here. And all you do is you just roll that sucker up all the way down like that. If I had my knife out already, I could show you. I'm just going to slice it into the thickness that I want all the way down. And that'll be my noodles. It's just like that. You can see they're all just individual little rolls of, of pasta. It's kind of hard doing it one hand here, but you get the idea here. They're just in rolls. Just do that to all of them real quick and uh, throw them in the water. Get cooking them. There. Now you tell me, does that look like pasta? All right. Now you want to add it to an already uh, rolling boil, and you're going to do it for about a minute and a half to two minutes. It shouldn't take any longer than that. I'm going to go ahead and drop it right here in the boiling water, and uh, we'll time it and check on it. Also, be sure to add a little bit of olive oil and uh, salt the water before you do it. The rule of thumb with the uh, salted water is that it should taste a little bit like uh, seawater. That way it flavors the noodles. Okay, it's been a couple minutes down now. Let's take a look at what we got. Looks like fresh pasta to me. It's done. I'm going uh, to throw it in a strainer. Throw some olive oil on it and color good. Okay, there she is. Throw on some uh, olive oil. Just a drizzle. A little bit of toss my hands here. And that's your noodles.